I'm joined on the show by Sarandeep Singh and Ashok Malhotra. I'll come to you, Ashok, first. You've been talking about change in the middle order. Would you say that with this, the way both Pujara and uh, Rahane got out, time's now finally up for them? They still got one more inning to go. If if I I got as the as per the quote that. They have, we have to be patient with them. I think we have been patient patient enough with them. Two years is a long, long time. You know, I've been a selector. Sarandeep has been a selector. We both can vouch for it. You know, what about the youngsters? Luckily, Haruma Vihari got it, uh, you know, because uh, 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 Virat uh, uh, was, uh, you know, because of back spasm, mm -hmm. did not play. But the fact is, uh, again, icing is on the board. It is not Chiteshwar Pujara is not getting runs. It is his stay at the wicket. He could have been out four times in his uh, short stay of uh, 30 right. balls or 40 balls where he scored just three runs. And again, yeah, first ball, anybody can get out. He'll, he'll look good in the first test match. But the fact is, they have to make way. Ha you know, time has come. You know, I know they have been great servants of the game. They have been great servants for cricket. But as I've been saying all along, there is a shelf life. Their, sh their shelf life seems to be uh, finished now. And the time for move on. Move on, absolutely. And I think maybe next inning, is going to be the final or maybe the final straw in their careers. Sarandeep, let's uh, hear you on this uh, whether time's up, uh, time is up for Pujara and Rahani. No, the, look, well, it's difficult to say from as in a selector's point of view, either your time's up or not. It, it's, it's individually what Ashok Maji says, I'm totally agree with it. It's, it's individually on you. Now you have to make the ways for the others also. Because if you see, uh, Tresha here, he's scoring 100 in the last test match and is sitting out. Hmm. And suddenly, then you have to play with Ajinkya Rahane and you have to go with Pujara. Then you have to make way for the youngsters also. Either you come up with some positiveness, scoring runs to the board and make things difficult for the others to come back into the team. Otherwise, things will be difficult for you and it's a one more inning left for you. If you do score up, then you go with the opportunity at the next match. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you. Ashok, um, you've been saying that uh, these two players should decide to move on. But is there a way, is there a system that, uh, you know, prepares them to move on from life in, uh, you know, li life in cricket, life in test cricket? See, uh, Rika, the problem uh, in Indian cricket has always been, you, are ne you never leave on your own. You're always pushed out. You know, it, it's history. You know, it is, uh, I've got, uh, it's nothing new I have to say. You know, the great players, because I think probably we never uh, reached that height. We don't know how the world looks from <clears> that, that height. You know, maybe they, they're scared to leave leave the game. If you look at the foreigners, uh, Nasir Zand retired after 99 test matches. You know, there are a lot of uh, people who retired at the top of the game. But Indians, most of the Indians, especially the greats, are always pushed out. And then they have they always uh, say, okay, this was not right for me or this was, not, uh, uh, this was wrong for me. That is beside the point. Tomorrow, Chiteshwar and Ajinkya might have a different story to tell. What yeah. we are saying, they might have a different story to tell. Mm -hmm. But it is for the entire world to see, they have been struggling with the bat for two years. So they have to make way for the youngsters. You know, uh, if these guys won't go, how will the youngsters come in? Absolutely. When will they come in? Mm -hmm. You know, so that, that, that is my thinking. I, I'm, I'm also a fan of Chiteshwar and Ajinkya, but the fact is, their time is up. They haven't really shown uh, the sparks that are expected of them. And uh, it is rather sad that uh, Mayank Agarwal, who scored 100 in the test in, the, in his previous test match, is missing out now because of a stomach bug. Uh, coming to you, Sarandeep, any team that Kohli is missing from generally becomes weaker. But would you say that India, uh, the way it looks today, still has the firepower of winning the test match at the Wanderers? Uh, yes, definitely they have that firepower. But one thing I tell you, when Virat will play, the team is played totally differently because the way the way he captains the team, the way he plays is totally different. He was aggressive. If any fast water got the wicket, you see in the slips, Virat totally will be more enjoying. Then you look at it, Virat got the wicket. So that's a different thing. Now it's coming to KL. KL is very cool and calm. So let's see how he handles the team. Let's see how when, the, when they come into the field, how the, how the, he had. Uh, handle the team. So we have to be wait and see the team. And we just talk about the mid, the batsman. And especially we saw talk about the fast bowlers also. Our middle order is not going to run, but the fast bowlers they are doing really well. 
So hopefully we have a chance in this test match. Uh, Ashok, uh, just for our viewers who would like to know a little more about upper back spasm and how does it uh, hinder a batsman or an athlete's movement, which you know caused Virat Kohli to miss out the match. Could you just uh, tell them a little more about it? See, it is a you know back spasm means you you struggle to take the stance. You know you you have to bend down to take the stance, so it might be hurting him. Because Virat is a, uh, such a guy, he will not miss a test match for anything. Hmm. You know, he, uh, for small injury, he will never miss a test match. But the fact is, he must be hurting very badly if he has decided to drop out of a test, test match. And that too is a 100th test match. So definitely, I, I think, uh, uh, I hope he comes back quickly. Because back spasm is such, if it carries on, it can, be, it can uh, put you off for a while. But, but the fact is, another thing I might say, ke, India can still win a test match. We have done it in Brisbane without Virat Kohli. When Virat is not there, probably they all gel well and probably they feel they are more responsible. When Virat is there, they know the big boss is there, he'll do, do the hard work for us. The moment he goes out, they know that they have to do the hard work. For uh, the Indian cricket fans who are statistically inclined, let me tell you that Virat Kohli will not be playing his 100th test in South Africa now. He'll have to probably wait for the next test match when Sri Lanka comes to India. Um, well, Sarandeep, just coming back to you, back spasm, how long it might take for Virat Kohli to come back? Could he come back for the next test match? Well, definitely, he's a strong contender. I mean, I'm telling you a very short story. In 2018, we are playing test match. If you see the law testament, he can't even walk to inside the walk. I mean, he got a back spasm, he can't walk, then he come back again. And I was there as a selector that test match when he go to the physio and tell, go to the x-ray, if everything's fine, then next test match, you have to be make a fit and he scored 200 in Nottingham. So if there is nothing much serious, I'm definitely sure whatever happens, whatever happen is, he's going to play the test match. Well, uh, we'll all hope that Virat Kohli is back for the next test match and uh, perhaps give India a chance to win the series. Ashok, just coming back to you for one last word on where India stands right now. 53 for 3. Um, how many runs do you expect them to score in the next session? See, next se uh, session, hopefully KL Rahul will uh, come on to his own. He'll settle down. Uh, but although first uh, half an hour, he'll have to concentrate a bit. But the fact is, India's backs are against the wall. Hanma Vihari, uh, he has a point to prove. I, we know he's a champ, champion batsman. But I would expect Rishabh Pant to come to the party. After Brisbane, he has not scored very many runs. Mm -hmm. So the onus is on KL Rahul. KL Rahul will have to probably score another 100 if India has to get to 300. And also perhaps for Hanuma Vihari to prove his worth yes. at uh, this level. When we come back at 6 p.m., we are also going to discuss about the energies of KL Rahul vis-a-vis -vis Virat Kohli. Lots to talk about in this match. For now, uh, thank you gentlemen for joining me on the broadcast.